If you've been using Notion for a while and you've been complaining about the calendar inside of Notion, that it sucks, that you cannot do time blocking, yada, 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 this video is for you. Notion has just released a whole new app, which is not a feature, it's a full app. I mean, it's not really a full app. It is actually a version of Cron, the calendar app that Notion bought last year. But anyway, they've renamed it and they have added so many cool features that integrate this calendar app with Notion. But I don't wanna waste your time in this video. I'm just gonna be focusing on those new features. I'm not gonna be covering what Chrome does because the app has been around for a while. So first of all, what do we do first? If you haven't connected Notion to Notion Calendar already, you can go here at the bottom of the sidebar, click on it and just follow the steps in order to connect both. You just have to click next and that is it. But now, once they are both connected, what do we do? So right now, Notion Calendar can only see data from databases that are in Notion, but they have to have a calendar or a timeline view in the core database. So we cannot use a linked view of a database, okay? So what do I mean by this? If we go to Notion and I have here my tasks database. If I click on it, these are the only views that Notion Calendar is gonna be able to read, okay? This is the actual database. And here what I have done is I have just created a calendar view. So once I have created this one, I can go to Notion Calendar and I can go over to these three dots and add Notion database. Here, I will be able to find the actual database. And well, I have already added it. And it's this one over here. There is one thing that we should note here, and it's that what we are gonna see in Notion Calendar is exactly what we are seeing in this view. What does this mean? For example, I here have a filter that the status is not complete. So this means that every time that a task is completed, it's gonna get hidden from this view. And therefore it's also gonna be hidden from this view over here. So actually all these purple elements that we see over here are tasks that haven't been completed yet. And now how does the synchronization works between both applications? Well, everything that we modify in one app, it's also gonna reflect in the other. What does this mean? For example, we're in Notion Calendar and this task over here, I'm just gonna move to the next day, okay? And we can see that the task is already edited over here. And if I bring it back to the previous day, let's leave it some moment. And that is it. Okay. So there is a two way synchronization between both apps, but there is a caveat here. All these events or tasks in my case are only visible because I'm using Notion Calendar. If I were to go back to Google Calendar, I will not be able to see them, okay? So for example, if you are using a scheduling app such as Calendly, Calendly will not be able to read all these tasks and you will still appear as free. So how am I actually using this? Well, personally, at the end of every week, every Friday I try, or every Sunday, I schedule all the tasks for the next week. So this means that I assign a date in which I'm gonna do each of the tasks that I want for the next week. So with this, I'm just assigning them a date. And this is a process that I do inside of my weekly review. Here I have all my pending tasks and I just drag them to the right over here in order to schedule them. Okay, so when does Notion Calendar come into place? Well, let's go to the next week because I have already some tasks pending here. So those tasks that don't have a time yet are gonna appear here on the top. And what I'm gonna do is here in the calendar, I have in yellow all the personal events that are always going to happen. A breakfast, a taking out ginger, my dog, going to the gym, lunch and everything. So what I can do now is to check here which tasks I'm gonna do when. So let's say that I start with my work at 8 a.m. So I'm gonna start with this task over here. It's gonna take me like one year, and then this one that is short, and then the rest of my morning is gonna be spent on this one. I mean, if you're a time blocking kind of guy, this is gonna be awesome. I don't like time blocking so much. So the way that I use this is just so I can know when I'm gonna do a task, but it is gonna be impossible for me to understand that I'm gonna take one hour to do this. So this just tells me the order in which I'm gonna do the tasks, okay? This is how I'm using it personally. But this is very cool because I can see here exactly the free time that I have for doing all the tasks. So I can see that here I have a couple of like three different events. So I will not be able to schedule tasks here. So here I can already see that I cannot do much because already my, my day is quite full. So maybe this, instead of being on Tuesday, I'm just gonna move over there. And of course, all these have been modified 
over here. And then of course, we can go to our today view and we are gonna be able to see the tasks in real time. What else I'm using this for? If we go to Notion Calendar, we can also create tasks from here. So let's say that Monday after lunch, I want to study mm, guitar. I can go over here, select my tasks database and that is it. This task, if I go to Notion and I go over here, it's already been added. So this is how I'm using it for tasks. I have found another very cool use case, which is I already have all the different subscriptions that I'm paying. And with a formula, I'm calculating when is the next payment date. So what I have done is I have created a calendar and the calendar is by that next payment date which is a formula and since it is a calendar i can go to notion calendar and i can add it over here so everything that you see in red are the different subscriptions that i need to pay and if we press m to see the monthly view we can see a very good view of all the different payments that i got what i have done is to add this little emoji to all of them here in notion so i can easily distinguish in the calendar view that they are a payment now what else we can do let's say that we have a team and we also want to see our team's tasks in notion calendar alongside ours so what we can do is go again to the task database and create a new calendar view and we can just filter by that team member for example this one and save it this we can call my team member is called Thames Thames calendar okay so now if I go to Google calendar I can go over here add notion database we find the tasks database over here well this was not updated yet and then we can find the new view that we have just created so click there wait for a little bit and there are the two different tasks i'm gonna go back to the weekly view these are the two different tasks that appear in here the only downside of this is that we cannot rename this yet i hope they're going to allow us to do this soon but we will just be able to differentiate this by the color so this is not very useful for having a lot of team members tasks in this view so i will just keep it to the team members that you really want to know about because maybe your schedule depends on their schedule and vice versa but it's a cool feature nonetheless that we can have different views coming from the same database in this calendar view so while i love notion calendar there are still some features that we don't have and that i would love to have one of them is for example to be able to display properties that live inside of notion in notion calendar for example I use all the time the same tasks for creating these YouTube videos and all the tasks get created automatically and they are called script, record, take thumbnail. But from here, I don't really know which video is it about. So I would love to have here some of the properties that, for example, in this case, is going to tell me which is this video about. I mean, of course, I can always open in Notion and I will be able to see the task and here see the video. But I would love to see it in Notion Calendar itself. Another feature that I would love is that so far we can just see over here all the tasks that have been scheduled. Why cannot we use all this white space to have all the different tasks that haven't been scheduled and that maybe we can group them by project, by client or something like this and we can just drag them over to the calendar. That will be amazing. So it will be a very similar view from what I have over here, but in Notion Calendar. Well, so this Notion Calendar, I have been using it for a couple of weeks already. And I gotta say that I love being able to see all the tasks in my calendar at all times, in my phone, in my computer and everywhere. And also how easy it is to reschedule stuff, taking into account my events, all in the same view. Well, that is it for today, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.